The sun had started to rise over the sea, making everything sparkle. Tinkerbell leading the way, with Peter, Wendy, Michael and John, their arms outstretched, flying behind. As they flew over the island, Peter excitedly pointed out his favourite places. Mermaid Lagoon passed underneath, and they waved to the mermaids who lay on rocks in the sun. A village high on the cliff came next. Tiger Lily lives there, Peter called out. And on they flew, round the cliff and into a bay. An enormous pirate ship lay anchored below, the skull and crossbones fluttering in the breeze. Peter quickly led them out of sight. Captain Hook and the pirates live there, he whispered. We've had so many battles. The only thing Hook is afraid of is a crocodile. It bit his hand off and now follows him everywhere. Peter laughed at their shock faces. Don't worry, he said. We can always hear the crocodile coming. He's so greedy. He swallowed a clock, so he tick-tocks everywhere he goes. Peter and his new friends flew off towards the forest. The forest was high and dark with closely packed trees. Suddenly, Peter dived headfirst down through the branches. The others struggled to keep up, twisting and turning, their clothes catching, before finally landing in a clearing. Peter was proudly standing next to a large tree stump. He pushed and twisted a knot in the wood and the secret entrance to his home appeared at the base. Peter jumped in and a follow me floated out of the hole. The children bravely dived in after him, whooshing down the chute and into the darkness. As their eyes adjusted to the dim light, they were met by many more pairs of eyes looking back at them. But who did they belong to? Lost boys, commanded Peter. Say hello. A cry of welcome came from the happy faces of the lost boys. They all lived with Peter and surged forward to greet their new friends. <laughs>